Hi everyone, George here and I'm so excited today because I'm in Budapest in Hungary at the beautiful shop that is Green Aqua. I'm going to give you a tour, I'm going to look into some of the aquascapes in detail and just pay attention throughout the video, watch it to the end and I'm going to ask you which is your favourite aquascape and why. Let's go and take a look around, I can't wait. So hello guys, so over on the left we have Victor, hey guys. then we have Attila and hey Daniel guys. and then we have a chap that's running away. They've even got like a TV display, is this like running your YouTube? Actually it's a pre-recorded video but it's, uh, some of them are from YouTube. Cool. Also video from Cinescaper. Yeah, so check out Green Aqua's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link at the end. Awesome channel. And also Cinescaper, really talented filmmaker. Here we've got a really kind of budget friendly, easy scape. I think it's running the um, Aquario yeast based system. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, where is it? Is it down there? And it's a, pre yeah, it's a, it's a fresh one. So it, we built it like a week ago. Cool. Uh, yeah, customers always buy it. So. Yeah, it's che they're cheap as well, aren't they? Was... Uh, th this is a cheap one, yeah. Yeah. And we're using the, uh, not the stop light, but the ONF. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are testing that out. 15 watts, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's super strong. Beautiful little skate. Was this 20 litres? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got some Rotala green, some Bulbitis deformis, this plant right there. And then, what's the stem plant on the left? Is that Lobelia? No. And then some hair grass on the left. Here we have the Tropica kind of self-service products. These are all in blister packs. So these will last for weeks in these, in these neat packages. This is really cool. This is a terrarium. Have you got any livestock in here? Any frogs or...? No, not yet. No, you're planning? It's growing the plants. We've uh, fine-tuned it since the start. So now the spray bars are more hidden. We have more lights. And uh, yeah, we're thinking about what livestock we should add yeah. in. Let me know in the comments, guys, what would you like to see in here? Maybe some poison dart frogs? I'm so excited. I'm using a Ronin S gimbal. So hopefully the footage is relatively smooth compared to my handheld stuff. So Green Aqua actually do their own branded tissue culture pots. So you've got a, quite a wide selection. How many species do we stock? 20 or 30 different species? Yeah, well, approximately. Yeah. House plants at the bottom as well. How cool is that? So these are for your terrariums at the bottom. Beautiful. And then moving on to some Danale tissue culture. And then my personal favorites, are the Tropica, really good quality. A lot of them come in the liquid media, which is super easy to prepare. They have these breathable lids as well, which are easy to remove and just make it kind of mess free. And then some Aquaflora tissue culture as well, which are in the jelly. Yeah, the shelves are half empty right now because the shipments are always coming in on Tuesday. Okay, and today's Tuesday, yeah. so you're at the lowest the sort of stock. The is coming yeah. in from Denmark, Germany, and also Netherlands. Cool. So moving on to the to the wet displays now, we have it looks like a 120p style, looking a bit overgrown there, Victor, with the hydrocotyl tripartita. Super overgrown. Super overgrown. Yeah, this is going to be a. This will be one of the video. This is going to be a maintenance yes. video. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe maintenance and also how to transform it to something else. I mean, keeping the decoration and things. Yeah. And just change some plant too. Changing the plants develop. over. That's a perfect yeah. idea. Different appearance. And lighting. We've got some T5 ATI. Suspended yeah, luminaire, six tubes. We're only yeah. using four of them. Some beautiful fish. We've got some green neon tetras, paracroid on similens. Signifer. Nice. Yeah, we've got some uh, little rainbow fish in there as well. This is lovely. Loads of hygrophila pinnata feeder, loads of ricardia. Look at that ricardia. I love ricardia. Beautiful plant. Okay. Let's move over to this bad boy here. This is one of Balash's creations, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. And this is yours? And this one it was me, yeah. So this is Victor's. Victor's one of, if you didn't know, Victor's one of the directors of Green Aqua, one of the co-founders. Uh, three guys, Balash, Victor and Attila. So Green Aqua was uh, founded in 2009. So nearly coming up to their 10 year anniversary. I hope you're going to invite me over for a special party, maybe, for a 10 year. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> That's just stunning. What a really lovely kind of different take on the new Agumi. Beautiful layering effect, Dragonstone. Is this Micro th Micranthum of Monte Carlo, the carpeting plant, the main yeah, plant? Yeah, Monte Carlo. And then some Ricardia there attached to the stone, a little bit of Cryptocoryne in there. We have to rebuild this. Did you have you seen Yes, so yeah. see, uh, you did a. So that, that's, that's basically, uh, we have to, to put everything in to completely uh, to uh, an empty tank after the earlier uh, glass is damaged. Yeah, wow. So it got damaged in transportation, did it, when it was being moved from the... It's, it's probably damaged between moving to one cabinet to another uh, and, okay. and trying different things, yeah, and the relocation. This is awesome. Look at this one. This is one of my favourites, Victor. Is this yours? Yeah. Classic. Is the, is the oldest one here right now, maybe? Classic Nature Aquarium. Remember, it's from the original store. So the guys moved over, they, they had a, an old kind of store in, in Budapest, so a few miles away, um, but they've expanded. Uh, how long have you been in this premises now? This one? Yeah. So we opened it in May. In May, okay, yeah. so five months. Yeah. Uh, this is just beautiful. Look at the Rotalas, we've got Rotala Green there on the left and right. Is this Rotala HR? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, loads of Christmas moss. Romeo and those tetras yeah, look absolutely older, uh, but still gives a colorful uh, appearance here. And what's this? Is this the Maria film or? Yeah, the Guyana. Guyana, the, the tissue uh, culture tissue version. From Tropica. Yeah, lovely. It looks much better when it's in one group, but uh, yeah, it's the, the thing is that it's growing out from everywhere, so it's it's a real survival. Now this is a very special aquarium, guys. Do you know why? It's been, uh, we're going to do a separate video on this, guys, on the Green Aqua channel, so I won't spoil uh, too much information about it, but I set this up November. last year, November, so this has been running for 10 months. Yeah, about 10 months. It's no? getting, getting closer. Yeah. Right? Um, Long-term layout, which we like in shops because don't need too much maintenance. And just a lovely mix of plants, nice open foreground. Okay, this is another one of my favourites, this one. Who did this one, Victor? Balash. This is Balash's effort? Yeah. This is amazing. Look at this, is a 150 or 180? 180 by 60 by 60. So wow. it's 650 litre. Okay, it's amazing. It's going to give this a bit of attention because it deserves it, I think. Let's go a nice square on for you. I'm going to have to get myself one of these gimbals. Rainbow fishes looks very nice. The colour, the colour from the, so the lighting there is the ADA Solar RGBs. No expense spared on this. It's three of them, and the colour rendition from these is probably amongst the best light you can buy. I would say in the aquarium hobby. And um, just look at these rainbow fish. I'll try and get a bit more of a close up for you. Beautiful. Uh, what moss is that? Weeping moss? That's weeping, yeah. But, yeah. but uh, we usually keep it longer, but but I just trimming this to a short one, so it's kind of a new appearance even for us. Uh -huh. It's going to turn exposure down and such. It's, yeah, it's super. <laughs> super bright. There we are. Yeah. Beautiful tank, so clean as well. The guys employ a dedicated member of staff. His sole purpose in life <laughs> is to maintain the aquascapes here at, here at Green Aqua. Every day? Every day. Gabor? Yeah. Um, morning and, and morning. So he, hours. So he comes in before it opens to the public and then he comes in in the evening yeah. to finish. Well, we're closing after 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah lovely. And you know, this is testament to a very good, effective maintenance regime. So if you, t if you take anything away from this video, guys, it's the importance of maintaining your aquascapes to keep them looking tip top so you can appreciate them at all times. 
Uh, this is moving on to a 150 centimetre. Yeah, 150 or, by 60 by 50. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm being European. So for, the, for my American viewers, this is five feet or 60 inches. Uh, this is probably going to hold, what, 100 gallons, 450 litres, 400 litres? 450. 450 litres, so 125 gallons maybe, 120 gallons. Classic kind of Iwagumi style. Is this Balash? It's also Balash, yeah. Yeah. It's had a trim lately, you can see. It trimmed two days ago, something yeah. like that. So it's really a fresh trimming. Yeah, Maybe I mean, a bit more aggressive than what we would do, but uh, we've got a lot. need to be a little bit more. Yeah, it needs to, and it'll, it'll only be a few days' time, and then it'll start looking yeah. really lush again. Got a really complex mixture of plants here. I can see some Hemanthus cuba, some Staragoni repens, some Ranunculus and Endartus. Some stem plants in the back there. We've got Rotala hetra, um, Rotala wallachii, Pagostamon stellata, uh, Hemianthus glomeratus, uh, Tonina, is that as well? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and yeah, just really lovely use of dragonstone here, and then some looks like fossilized woodstone in the foreground as well. But yeah, beautiful scape. Okay, let's go and look at the smaller tanks. Now this is impressive. So uh, Green Aqua are an ADA specialist store. They stock, they're a special like, 300 item store, I believe. Is that right, Victor? You stock 300? Yeah, the, there's a maximum. Maximum you can have. You can have, but of course we have much more uh, products yeah. on the shelves. Yeah, check this out. So a little kind of maintenance stand, all like the fertilizers, the substrate additives, the water conditioners that you could possibly need. You've even got a, um, a food dispenser. Yeah. Can you get that out for us? This is really interesting. Most people yeah. probably haven't seen one of these before. So you, you put yeah. your fish food in there. It's very, very handy stuff. You can, can dose it very finely for your fish and gives uh, another enjoyment just to, yeah. to feed your fishes. So I think that was the main goal yeah. with ADA, just to make it much more a luxury experience. Yeah, an experience yeah. Than, than just just, just putting your hand in. in. Yeah. So you don't have to actually physically touch the food. So you're not going to get any of your oils on yeah. the food. And, and, yeah. and it's a nice, nice thing to yeah. go the glass. And yeah, then, it's, it's just high quality, isn't it? It's nice. And this, guys, is the ADA kind of classic 60p size aquarium. So this measures 60 centimetres or 24 inches by 12 inches front to back or 30 centimetres by 36 centimetres tall or 14 inches. So overall volume of about 60 litres or 15 US gallons. Yeah, that's right. And we have the lighting which is the ADA Aquasky. Yeah, this is the new series, the Aquasky G. Okay. Uh, which is highlighting the, the greens much more than the earlier series. Yeah, you can see the, the, same. the green is uh, very nicely represented in this tank. And we've got some Endla guppies in there and some that look like uh, Vietnamese mountain minnows as well. Beautiful little fish, let's get a bit closer for you. So guys, just pay attention to all these tanks because at the end I'm going to ask you which is your favourite and why. So, yeah, I mean, how many tanks have we got all together? Rough, roughly, 2015? Maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, just in, to, in this new shop we wanted to go for bigger sizes. In yeah. the old shop we had much more smaller ones. Yeah. There we had like 20, so now we have like a little bit less, but more larger ones. And who scaped, sorry, who scaped this one? It's Balash. This is Balash again. Yeah. And this one is Tamash? Who scaped this? That's a, that's a good question. I think. Maybe that was Daniel. Okay, nice. This is an Iwagumi with a really interesting use of stem plants to create some high impact colour and texture. Some Rotala green and the Rotala HR. Yeah. This is a common theme I'm seeing in the shop yeah, with the Rotala it's, it's, green. It's, it's, and it's also an old scape, so you probably see uh, the Cuba is kind of an aging, so it's kind of end of a yeah. uh, uh, life cycle. But uh, all, all tanks CO2 injection. Um, I think, do they all have the in-tank diffusers, the glass pollen diffusers, or do you have any in-line? Uh, we are not using the in-lines, I'm not uh, really loving them Big fan. these days. Okay. Yeah, it's clogging uh, quickly and uh, then having much more bubbles all around your tank, so yeah. this is, and, and also there are many defective units, so I, I'm not in uh, love with them, but okay. glass diffusers or they work well. Or, well yeah. Uh, this is one a work in progress, so we have another 60p 
Um, beneath it you can see the ADA, uh, ADA Superjet filter, stainless steel. Is this a 600, the filter? Six. Yeah, yeah 600. Six, yes. Uh, with the, another ADA Aquasky Moon, is this one? Or, this is yeah. And a really heady mix of stem plants here with some ADA Carvis carpets. Beautiful. Who skate this one? It's probably me. I don't you don't know. even remember. Yeah, because <laughs> it's coming from the old shop and uh, we want to keep some of the layout at the beginning okay. just to have not just fresh tanks. And uh, yeah. yeah, I think it was uh, me at that time. Beautiful. And it's really beautiful. They're all really beautiful. You should be very it's proud. It's easy, yeah. but it's time to, to do something more serious next time. So. Yeah. Well, if you ever want a guest UK aquascaper to come over and do a tank for you, Victor. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm we sure can I can fly. Tomorrow, whatever. Yeah, of course. So this is, a, this is really cool. This is a Biorb Air. So the guy set these up and then they actually, you, you sell them, right? You sell them ready made up for yeah, the customers. Yeah, we also sell them empty and also like, like this one. This is really cool. Just gonna get the exposure right. Let's go in a bit wider angle for this because this is gonna be like a really nice. Any animals in here? Just the plants. Just uh, plants in here. No animals. Just, but you could just, keep a. Just, just plants. You could keep something really small in here. I'm guessing. Beautiful. Um, let's just have a quick tour of the plant displays here. So all lit very well with the T5 suspended lighting. We've got a mixture of Tropica, uh, Danile. Looks like mainly Tropica plants. Aquaflora from our friends in Holland. Um, this is beautiful, and the, it's just this is just so clean, and this is so lovely to see a shop which you know maintains everything so well. Not just the display aquascapes, but the selling tanks as well. It's just really inspirational. Okay, let's have a little wander around the dry goods area. So, when are you going to set this uh, beauty up here? You're going to actually going to fill it with water? Yeah, it's uh, it's coming in. We are thinking about. I uh, just uh, had a thought this week. Cool. What to do? So filling up with uh, half and and having some kind of uh, um, immerse things about that, or just filling this up completely and then have a, a larger uh, mountain in it. So we're thinking about that. The lights are in. It's a super. Uh, it's a special, powerful uh, ceiling light for this kind of growing. So we're using three of them. Wow. Here. And, uh, and then you've got. Yeah, it's it's real. We are replacing the glass because first we've uh, received the normal fl float glass and we uh, okay. have not to white. So just yeah. receiving it next week or so. I think I'm a natural with this gimbal. The yeah. brands are doing good. Really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the base is good. And here we have a t-shirt kind of display here. They've got their own mother beep in nature. High grade uh, moss cotton shirts. So that's, that's for the shrimp geeks. And we've got the bookie or the boost t-shirts as well. For the plant geeks. This is my personal favorite t-shirt that Green Aqua do, the eat, sleep, escape, repeat. I have one of these as well. And then we have some nano tanks here from Danile and ADA. We have a really big kind of ADA tool display here and then kind of move, moving around here all the dry goods, every kind of dry good you could ever want as from an aquascoping point of view. Got their own branded fertilizers. Uh, we've got choice of substrates. It's just insane guys, this shop is just if you're ever in Budapest, or if you ever come to Hungary, then it's an absolute must-see uh, store, I would say. If, if you're even remotely interested in nature or aquascaping, you have to come here. Okay. Tropica just came in. Yeah. Ah, here we go. For Dan Alain, for also. Let's have a look at the... So I just had a fresh delivery of Tropica plants. And that's the beauty part, uh, if, if you're from the States. Uh, we're ordering on Monday and Tuesday in the middle of the day it's yeah. here from, yeah. from Denmark, so. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna shoot some B-roll. I'm gonna say cheerio. I say cheerio to Victor. Thank you so much, Victor, for yes, giving us that nice. little bit of a guided tour. See you later. Don't forget to check out the Green Aqua Absolutely. channel and also Cinescaper. I'll leave links in the description. 
uh, you take care, go, oh, I'm going to flip it round because I can do that with this button. If I just, what I'm going to do now is watch this. Flip this three times. Double, double, or triple, yeah. Okay, guys, you take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. Boom.